This is an ode to Dread OG, a legend among men and a legend among warriors. Dread OG is a, a wizard in real life. I've seen it myself firsthand. He's not a joker. I know I've been getting a lot more channel views, so I want to reintroduce myself for new viewers. I don't want to go back and watch all my vids. I'm basically going to summarize what I'm all about. I'm a hardcore pecan on the Asheron's Call server of Dark Tide. It's a hardcore PvP server. It takes mad skill. There are penalties for dying. For a game to be satisfying, when you kill somebody, it has you feel like you did something to them. When they take a stat loss, you loot them. If they're a dumb noob, you can maybe even take their armor if they don't have death arms, then that's satisfying. All the games they make now are ma making it so there's no penalties. Pussies like you who die to a PK like me, you'll get frustrated and you'll quit. Well, they don't make hardcore games like Dark Tide anymore, so don't tell me the game looks shitty, it looks old. Well, of course it's old, it was made last century, but guess what? They don't make games like that anymore because you pussies cry about them. I think what I do takes as much skill as somebody like Tiger Woods. Like, if Tiger Woods had a YouTube page, because people don't understand Asheron's Call, they don't understand how much skill it takes. I would rather suffer the end of Gareth a thousand times. I would rather die alone than receive advice from you. Dread OG's no joke. The guy can literally shoot fireballs out of his hands. I don't know how he does it. It's a wicked form of alchemy, I believe. He is one lad I would not be messing with in real life. Do you think Dread OG is weak? Oh, he's just playing you guys. Dread OG is by far one of the most ruthless players I've ever run across in my days. Believe me, I've been playing games since before the internet. This is Dread OG, and I've had a revelation. I'm no longer who I am. I've become something else since I've started making my vlog. I've literally become Dread OG in real life. I'm no longer my RL self. I've been identifying through my vlogs with my in-game character so long. I am Dread OG. I'm the poner of noobs, the best cast in AC. I am Dread OG. I am the, the poner of noobs. And it's gonna hurt because they're it's elbows, okay? It's not like I'm not hitting like that. Just, but fuck is that? Get it? Like if I did that really fast, like you're saying, oh, you're saying the second one would miss, okay? No, wait. I would hit the person with this one, and then their head flung back, I'd follow up. I'd actually go at them and follow up with the uppercut. That would work. I don't just pwn people in game now. I pwn them in real life. You all think I'm just a pathetic nerd you can laugh at? Well. You won't be laughing much longer, I guarantee you that. World of War crap. It's a game where you can literally, you can see the carrot in front of you, and, and you spend all day chasing the carrot. Well, a good game that, that's uh, dynamic, player-driven, like Darktide, nobody plays. On the Darktide server, it's uh, everybody is a player killer. It means you can attack them anywhere. In World of Warcraft, you want to take over a hunting spot? You can't. Like, oh, I'm in this cave, there's some noob there, I kill the noob, and he can come back in like a minute. There's no physics engine. If somebody shoots something at you, you know, it's gonna hit you every single time. In Ashen's Call, arrows and war spells all have a certain trajectory, and if you, if you move out of that trajectory, you're not gonna get hit by it. Now, which in player skill plays a huge role. Like, in World of Warcraft, you just sit there, and you can even set a macro to player versus player for you in World of Warcraft. It's better to have a macro because it's faster, like, Oh, I'll set a macro to uh, Arcane Power, Firebolt, Presence of Mind, Pyroblast, and you can kill everybody doing that. All you do is hit one bun, and then you do the macro, and you kill anybody doing it. How, 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 how does that even appeal to people? In World of Warcraft, uh, it's like you can't, can't even attack half the population because your players aren't allowed to you know, control the politics themselves. You can't even interact with horde guilds because uh, you can't talk to them. And Ashen's Call can attack anybody anywhere, but you can also form guilds with people. 
And if somebody in your guild pisses you off, you can kill them because nothing's disallowed. But if you kill them, then you might get booted from the guild. Or and then alliances can be formed between the guilds, and there can be wars and battles over hunting grounds or towns. And when Ashen's call, it doesn't matter. You know, if I don't play for a month, it doesn't matter if I uh, have crappy gear. As long as I got you know my skills, then I'm the best. He is indeed the best. Dread OG has never lost a fight. He has never died in any single game he's ever played. And that includes Ashwin's Call. Also includes Darkfall Online. He is a pro. And he's also a wizard in real life. I guess that can attribute to some of it. Anyways, this is for you, Dread OG. We, the Mercs, I look forward to playing with you in future games, my friend. All the best to you.